Frozen shoulder can result from repressed anger or other emotions trapped in your shoulder uh, following a past emotional trauma uh, that occurred in the days leading up to the onset of your pain. Uh, I've healed my own frozen shoulder in a couple of months and had similar results uh, with many of my coaching clients using the emotional freedom techniques protocol on this video, which includes EFT tapping, uh, color breathing, therapeutic shaking, and self-hypnosis with uh, visualization. Uh, basically what we're doing is identifying a malware program that was downloaded into your system at the time of the original trauma, uh, find the file name, repeat the file name, and, and start the program running again in a controlled fashion, and then tap on the acupuncture points on the face and chest, uh, essentially hitting the delete key to uninstall that program. Uh, once we're done with that, we're going to use hypnosis to install a program for a healthy shoulder that you actually want to have there. Uh, now, to start, we need to assess your pain level on a scale of 0 to 10 using subjective units of distress or SUD score. Um, 10 being the worst pain you've ever had, 0 being nothing at all. Uh, and then we're going to start with a setup phrase. And uh, since I'm assuming that many of you are going to have a shoulder that's not working, we're going to use only one hand for, for the demonstration. Uh, and so we're going to start with a setup phrase, which is rubbing on your sore spot, which is just underneath the collarbone. And you just go down until you find a tender spot between the ribs in the intercostal muscles. And you're going to rub on that uh, and say, even though I have repressed anger frozen in my shoulder, I deeply and completely accept myself. And if anger is not your emotion, substitute a different emotion for it. Even though I have repressed anger frozen in my shoulder, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have repressed anger frozen in my shoulder, I deeply and completely accept myself. And we're gonna do some color breathing. So in with your favorite color, healing color, and then out with a painful color. We're gonna do that in between each step. And now we're gonna start tapping with two fingers, a second, third finger on the eyebrow point, and just say the short phrase, repressed anger frozen in my shoulder, and you're tapping hard enough to make a noise and five or six times during repeating the phrase. And then side of your eye, repressed anger frozen in my shoulder. Under your eye, repressed anger frozen in my shoulder. Under your nose, repressed anger frozen in my shoulder. On your chin, repressed anger frozen in my shoulder. On your collarbone, uh, repressed anger frozen in my shoulder. And you can go to either side with the collarbone and also under your arm, repressed anger frozen in my shoulder and then below your breast, repressed anger frozen in my shoulder and then on top of your head, repressed anger frozen in my shoulder. Again, the color breathing in and out, favorite color in, painful color going out. Now I would ordinarily switch to the other hand, but I'm just going to pretend I have a frozen shoulder and, and do this instead and say, we're going to start with the same phrase, repressed anger frozen in my shoulder. And then this is the awfulized step. So we're going to go deeper into the experience. It's been going on for weeks under your eye. It's totally relentless. Nothing is helping. Uh, the synovia in my shoulder is angry red, which is a metaphor for my emotional state. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to last, but I've heard it can be for months, if not years. Uh, and that's very scary. Uh, the range of motion is very restricted and below your breath, that's very frustrating. And I've got anger frozen in my shoulder. Another deep breath in and out. Now we're gonna to switch to the neutralized step, which we're gonna go back and forth, back and forth, negative to positive, just play along with it. Um, and start up here now with repressed anger frozen in my shoulder. Side of your eye, it's gone, I'm healed. Uh, under your eye, say, oh, that sounds like bullshit. Uh, under your nose, well, maybe I took the edge off it. Uh, chin, I'm not sure tapping does anything. A collarbone, if it did work, that would be amazing. Under my arm, I would need some proof that something's actually working. Uh, below my breast, um, you know, I'm open to any possibility. Uh, top of your head, I would, I'm curious to see what's going to happen. I'd love to sleep better than I am now. Deep breath in and out. Now we're going to switch to the final side, uh, which is going to be where we move into the hypnosis phase. 
because everything's going to be positive now. So we're going to start here. But I want emotional freedom now. Uh, I am uh, healing my shoulder quickly. I'm getting my range of motion back. Uh, I'm looking forward to starting physical therapy and making lots of progress. Um, my doctor is going to be surprised at how fast I heal. And my physical therapist is going to be pleased to be working with me. Um, and I'm going to get my full range of motion back. And I'm going to have fun doing this. And I'm going to sleep well again. Deep breath in and out. And right now you're going to keep your eyes closed. We're done tapping. So just keep breathing in and out a little faster, a little deeper than ordinarily would. Because you want to get the energy moving through your body and assign the colors again to the energy moving. So favorite color going in, flooding your body, flushing out the painful color. See it go down your arms and out your fingers and in your hands and let them shake when the, when the colors come out your fingers. And you can control the rate at which it all moves by how fast you breathe. Let it go down your legs, chasing the painful color into the ground and out, out wiggle your toes, stomp your feet. And when you've shaken out everything you want to shake out, just let yourself settle down, tune into your body. And with your eyes closed, just kind of check and see, is there any pain anywhere? Has it changed? Has it shifted? Is there any anger I'm noticing? And then assign a color to that and then breathe your favorite color down into that area uh, with to see if you can transform it. Once you've done that, then we're going to go on a little uh, vacation to a healing spot out in nature somewhere uh, where you can uh, spend uh, a minute or so just doing some healing work. So go to your favorite place anywhere in the world. Uh, use all five of your senses, seeing, smelling, hearing, uh, tasting, feeling, whatever you want to do there. And then once you're in that place, look down at your feet. Imagine looking down at your feet and finding an object on the ground, just the first random object you see. It's going to be your healing magic recycling tool. So pick it up, hold it in your affected hand, and then drain any of the emotions out of your body that you, and any of the pain out of your body into that object. And then release it back to the earth any, any way you want. Once you've done that, and then you're going to invite a healing spirit guide to come visit you in your place. I recommend uh, uh, three choices of beings from the other side, an angel, a spirit animal, or a wise ancestor from the past. And take the first one who volunteers, ask them for some advice. What can I do to heal my shoulder as rapidly as possible? Listen to what advice they have to offer. Thank them for the words of wisdom and then get in a time machine and go back into your past to a time when your shoulder was really doing well, you know, healthy, you could do whatever activities you really enjoy doing with the shoulder. And imagine someone took a picture of you doing one of those activities with a highly functioning shoulder. And you're going to put that picture up on your memory wall, but you want to put a picture frame around it that has a color that represents that feeling. So think of a color of that feeling of having a healthy shoulder and put that color around the picture frame and breathe that color into your body wherever it needs to go. Next, you get to be a Hollywood scriptwriter and rewrite the whole scene right before your shoulder started to freeze. So if you can identify whatever the emotional incident was, think of ways you might have handled that differently and maybe express your anger, express whatever emotion it was and not repress it into your, into your shoulder. And so rewrite that scene could have a couple different scenarios like parallel universes where something different occurred. And once you've rewritten that scene to your satisfaction, then project yourself into the future. When your shoulder's fully healed, your range of motion is fully back, and you're really happy about the results, and, and you're happy that it occurred much faster than you expected. Uh, so see yourself doing one of your favorite activities again with your shoulder, and someone took a picture of, of that experience, and now Put a picture frame around that one. Put a color that represents how it feels to be healed around it and breathe that color into your body wherever it needs to go. And put that picture up on the wall next to the one from the past so you know where you've been and where you're going in terms of shoulder healing. Uh, and the last thing we're going to do is have you just come back briefly for a second from that imagery experience 
do a little stretching, a little moving, and then we're going to do a quick self-hypnosis process to take you back into that future picture frame. Thumb and finger squeeze together. Create some tension in that arm. Open your eyes wide. Take a deep breath. Hold it. And then when you're ready, relax the hand. Put the hand on. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and blow the breath out and project yourself into that future picture frame so that you can get there really quickly anytime you need to. And then when you're ready, bring that feeling back, stretch and wiggle, open your eyes, refreshed and alert. And then we're going to have you uh, just assess the impact of that phrase we start out with. So repressed anger, uh, frozen in my shoulders, say that phrase. Notice what your pain level is now, whether it's shifted in any way, gone up, down, uh, or stayed the same. And then what you can do now is listen to the, the recording again, once a day or however often as you want to, um, and keep doing it until one of three things happens. You get completely bored with, with saying that phrase over and over again. Uh, your shoulder starts to feel better. You're getting your range of motion back. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's giving you a clue that something good is going on. And then, or you start to, to actually laugh about how much you regret having repressed that emotion in your shoulder and wish you'd have handled it months ago. So uh, when you get to one of those three points, you can, you can stop because your, your range of motion should be coming back and you should be able to go to physical therapy and continue your, to get your range of motion back and, and complete your healing process. Uh, if you want to know more about my coaching program or my workshops that I teach, go to LarryBurke.com. I also have recording future videos on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, so thanks for tapping with me today.